guys, welcome to my channel. So I hope you're all having a lovely day. And I'm so glad you clicked on this video because this video is going to be a very important message and I don't even know if I'm going to keep this video up, but I just wanted to reach out to you guys. So first off, I just want to cover the fact that you might be sitting there asking yourself, why is this rooster who talks like Wilma looking into the camera and like, what is going on? So first off, if you want me to do something that talks about my hair and why it is so fucking crazy, um, I'm glad to do that. I'm actually a hair model and that's why my hair changes and stuff and I'd love to talk about it. It's really, really fun. It's been such a great experience and I'd love to share it. So if you're interested to know about my hair, my opinions on changing my hair, how I feel when I go out in public with such extreme hair, like anything like that, then please comment below if you'd like something like that or just give this video a thumbs up if you think that's cool. On to what I'm actually going to be talking about in this video, and that is Self-Harm Awareness Day, which is March 1st. And the reason I wanted to mention this is because I want to put up a video on March 1st where I basically go through a, a few questions on self-harm, and it could be anything. Like, I really, really want to reach out to you guys and encourage you to ask me questions like you can ask me anything about from my journey my opinions on it how I'm recovering even though I kind of cover that in another video anything like how I get through obviously I can just say things that come from personal experience like I don't know about other people but I think the reasons why I self-harm or like um, how I started out is kind of different from other people that I've talked to than myself so I think it'd be interesting to talk about it as well and I just want to encourage all of you like I'm talking about like my parents if you're watching this go in the comments ask me questions and if you are my step sibling then you can ask me questions if you're an old friend a new friend if you're my teacher if you are someone I don't know I don't care like I want everyone to just ask me questions because I have the great opportunity of putting videos up online and I'm not very shy about it because I feel like I've kind of moved on from it. So for me to sit here and talk about it, obviously like it's not easy, but since I'm one of those people who can do that, I want to be able to do it so I can help others. And that's why I want to do this. Obviously like if this is hard for you to watch, then like if you if you don't want this to happen, like that's fine. Don't watch the video. I completely understand. But I just really, really, really want to encourage people to ask me questions because I am really, really bad at talking about self-harm when it comes to real life situations. Like I'm really bad at talking about it with my parents or my friends or your teachers or anyone else. But because I can talk about it online, I kind of want to cover something that's a little bit bigger and something that, you know, I don't really need to put your name on it and I can talk about it to everyone who follows my channel. Also, if you don't want to comment below, you can actually just... I think somewhere here on the screen I'm gonna put an email account that I put up for my YouTube account so this email is just lifegoofer at gmail.com what it is is basically there you can send me questions about self-harm depression or anxiety because those are the three that I have experience in and also if you want help with something personal not for me to talk about on my channel but for me to just have like for you to just have someone to talk to, like I'd love to talk to you and I'd love to help out if there's something you need to vent about or just be there to listen, anything, like advice, whatever, um, you can use this Gmail for anything and I really really want to encourage you to ask questions, also I'm going to try to find a way to link like a, wait, it's this corner, in the corner you're going to find either, I think if I make it, a survey about if you want to talk about self-harm, depression, or anxiety, or what preference you have, if there's anything I can help you out. And the second survey is just going to be about if you want me to talk about me personally, and my experiences, and my story, uh, my thoughts around self-harm, or just give you advice. So please answer those surveys if you don't really want to ask a personal question. Like, I just want to say that please don't be shy because I'm the person sitting here and talking about my own problems openly online. So please, please don't feel shy. I'm the one who should feel like this is hard to talk about, which it is, but I just want to feel like you don't have to stop yourself from not doing it because you're shy. 
and I just want to like I just want to like encourage you to ask me so bad. And if no one asks me questions and I don't get any answers from the surveys, I'll just talk about a little bit generally, I guess. And also, I just wanted to mention I'm reading this book right now, which is called Girl in Pieces. And yes, you guessed it, it's a book about self-harm and mental illness and it is so difficult for me to read but I'm doing it and it is going okay. It's um, a pretty good book and I wanted to do a review on this book so maybe I'll publish that instead on March 1st but I just wanted to take this opportunity for you guys to kind of get to know me better and my struggles and my thoughts and that kind of thing. So if you're interested, please go ahead and do that. Um, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. So, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not. There's no stupid questions when it comes to this. Like, I am a very accepting person. Like, I will never judge judge someone, like, in person for something that they tell, like, ask me online. Like, that's never going to happen. So, I just want to encourage you guys to feel open about it. And that's it. So, I hope you guys all have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!